Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So this video is about the North Node transiting the sign of Taurus. So the North Node goes into the sign of Taurus January 18th, 2022, and it will be there until July 17th, 2023. So the North Node talks about our destiny it talks about the direction that we need to go in life in order to create more balance in our lives because you know some of us look at the south node or i've heard some astrology astrologers refer to the so the south node as past lives you know it could represent past lives but for me it represents like what we're most familiar with what we're most comfortable with. So of course, for us to go in the opposite direction, things can be a little bit scary for us because, you know, familiarity feels safe. So wherever the North Node is in your chart, look at where the South Node is. That is a part of your life that you feel most comfortable in. That's where you feel safe. But you are called to go in the opposite direction because the, no the North Node and South Node are basically opposing each other at the same exact degree on the same axis. So wherever the North Node is in your chart, you're being called to go in that direction in order to create more balance in your life. If you want to know more about the North Node and what it means in your natal chart, you know, pull your chart, see where the North Node is for you and check out the playlist or the description box below for a video on just the North Node overall. But check out my playlist for the videos with the north nodes to see like what your personal north node means but this video is about the transiting north node and the transiting north node is in the sign of taurus so that means the south node is in scorpio so with the north node being in taurus and the south node being in scorpio you know automatically what came to mind is secrets being revealed because scorpio is the sign that represents occult and occultism is things that are hidden things that are not in plain sight things that are you know in secrecy having to do with certain you know groups that hold all the knowledge so we're gonna see a lot more situations happen where things are coming out in the open certain secrets are being revealed you're gonna see situations where whistleblowers are telling on people telling the truth and there's going to be situations where we the truth won't be hidden from us you know different platforms and things like that is going to come about and we're going to hear different truths being told but of course it's going to come down to a situation where certain organizations who are more familiar who we've seen for a long time, like say, for example, if they say don't listen to what's coming from over there because over there is misinformation, it's fake news, like it's going to be a split, a split that we've already been seeing where some of us will be like, oh, wow, this confirms what I've known to be true. And some of us are going to be like, that's fake news because this group says not to listen to it. So I'm not going to listen to it. So this is where we are called to basically listen from a place of discernment. Like, what does your heart say about that? How does that feel for you? And that's the proper way for us to go about like, you know, 
observing information. It's like, do you resonate with it and not do you resonate from a place of comfort and familiarity, but do you resonate as far as like, what does your heart say? Do you feel there's truth in this thing or not? So this is where it's more important for us to trust ourselves even more. But with the North Node and the sign of Taurus, Taurus already has a lot going on within its sign for the simple fact that Uranus is there. And Uranus is there creating destruction and rebuild when it comes to our values as a collective, when it comes to agriculture, how we feed ourselves, our financial system, basically everything on a tangible level that makes our world go around. All of that is being shaken up and with innovation, newness is being created. So with the North Node being there, that's the direction that we want to go into. And the North Node will make an exact conjunction with Uranus July 31st, 2022. And that's going to be at 18 degrees. And like even before the conjunction, though, like I think it's May, early May, all the way to January 2023rd, we will feel basically we will feel the energy of the conjunction because the closeness of the north node and the planet uranus and just from that closeness alone we're going to feel this extra boost of energy this need this impulsive energy the need that something needs to be done and it should have been done yesterday already and within the world we might see a sense of urgency a sense of impulsiveness a, a sense of like, you need to do this now and it needs to be done for the sake of the collective. It needs to be done for the environment. It needs to be done for values. It needs to be done for stability. It needs to be done for security. So yeah, on the 31st is when the exact, the 31st of July, 2022 at 18 degrees is when the exact conjunction is happening. But like I said, from May, from May all the way till January 2023, we will feel that urgency. So this is where we can see major shifts and things happening within our world, within our democracy, things happening in a level of urgency and impulsiveness and force um, in order to, you know, basically preserve the structure, preserve the security, preserve the stability. And this is where we can see situations of manipulation and control happening where say, for example, you know, when challenging things happen in our world, there are certain people who, whose job is it is to basically to be able to create up, create solutions uh, or create or find opportunity out of the chaos. You know, like because people make the most money when they're solving problems. So whenever there are situations of chaos, there are people whose job it is to appear that they're solving problems. But in return, they're capitalizing off of our ignorance and, you know, making us think that they're helping and benefiting when in fact they're actually actually doing the opposite of that. So with this North Node, with the North Node and Taurus, we can look out for us moving into a direction of more security and stability, but at the same time, that direction will have a lot of chaos and transformation happening. But I trust the process and know that the universe is always at play. So the chaos and the confusion that could be present with the North Node moving into Taurus can also like basically create opportunity for us all because opportunity is present in every challenging situation. Again, it is up to us to be able to see that opportunity. So also too, with Taurus energy and us, the North Node moving into Taurus energy, this talks about the need for more stability and practicality. This talks about the need for us to redefine our values and move into the direction of the values that we have redefined for ourselves Ourselves because Uranus is shaking that up and causing like basically the need for us to redefine anyways because things are just going wild when it comes to all things related to Taurus, beauty, foundation, stability, finances, education, all of that is being destroyed or shaken up to the point where if the foundation is weak, it will be destroyed. And then we will have to rebuild and Uranus not Uranus, but with the North Node going into that direction. That's the direction that we need to move into to create stability, a direction that talks about true things being on the table, you know, us looking at things in a practical level, 
practical in the sense that with the South Node in, Tar in Scorpio and what I mentioned about occultism and things being in secret and hidden, you know, a lot of the times people will play on other people's emotions or those in charge will play on our emotions and say, this is happening because, you know, I'm protecting you. Where when it moves into the Taurus energy, it's like we're looking at practicality. We're making sense out of things. So this is where emotion, yes, emotions are always important because we always want to trust how we feel and check in with that. But we're also bringing in some practicality and creating balance. So this is where you know, again, things in the dark will come to light. One thing that's crossed my mind too when it comes to the transit, I can see situations happening where say, for example, you know, something happens where, like say, for example, alien encounter happens and maybe it happened and people share it. But for whatever reason, you know, we're told that that was fake. It's not real or whatever. It's like things can happen where we start to like question like, divination and spirituality to a certain extent and it's like i could see situations happening where shame is brought upon like you know us like reading tarot being into astrology numerology and things like that but just know that all of that again is a form of control and i say the shame because we're moving out of the scorpionic energy which is where we're comfortable with secrets and occultism and divination and things like that. And we're moving into the, you know, Taurus energy, which is practical, which is stability system, things that you can experience on a tangible level, or if you can't experience it on a tangible level, you tend to dismiss it. So this is where that dismissiveness when it comes to occultism and divination and things like that, we might be experiencing a lot of that. But either way, whatever we experience on a collective level, this is where it is important for you to be true to yourself and you know have your own relationship when it comes to things and stand in that truth because the more you stand in that truth the more confident you become within yourself and the more the universe shows up and supports you so stand in your truth be true to yourself when it comes to your beliefs and what you know to be true but at the same time be flexible be flexible like the palm tree within the storm in the storm the palm tree is so flexible it bends all the way over if it needs to and because of its flex flexibility it doesn't break so be flexible and be open but at the same time trust yourself stand in your truth and know that the universe will support you and guide you in whatever in whatever it is that you are moving towards as long as you are being true to yourself so i'm going to move forward into each zodiac sign so i'm going to move forward into each zodiac sign and tell you what this energy means for you when it comes to your zodiac sign or rising sign and i'm gonna put time stamps below so let's get into it hi aries so when it comes to the north node transiting taurus which is happening from january 18th 2022 through july 17th 2023 this is highlight highlighting the area of your life that talks about your values your tradition your money and your stability. So overall, you will find a lot of sudden and unexpected changes when it comes to your values, your traditions, and your overall money. And this is where you're going to have to bring a lot of attention to this area of your life and ask yourself, what is it do I really value and why do I value the things that I value? Because with the North Node here and also Uranus there, basically with the North Node there, that is the area of your life that you need to bring more focus into. Like with the North Node here, it's saying that what is comfortable and safe for you is focusing more on, say, keep being in the dark and being hidden and secretive when it comes to your financial situation. You might find yourself having to like be open and transparent when it comes to your financial situation. And through the openness and transparency is where support and help will come to you. This is where you're able to get a financial advisor. This is where you're able to, you know, get help when it comes to taking care of loans, taking care of debts, and just clearing up certain issues that you might be going through when it comes to your financial situation. And also to redefining your values, your traditions when it comes to, you know, what provides stability for you. Because the goal here is for more stability. And in order for you to have more stability, 
You need to be feel safe when it comes to your financial situation. And when the North Node conjuncts Uranus on January 31st, when Uranus gets close to the North Node, you will be feeling this sense of urgency, this sense of impulsiveness when it comes to your financial situation and your values. This is where you can find yourself gambling with your resources and gambling with what you have. So make sure greed isn't something that is like dominating your mind or your need to achieve. Make sure you take things slowly and do things one step at a time because if ever we fail, we don't fail from one action. We fail from small steps that we've made that created that failure. And whenever we win, it is not just this one big action that creates the win. It is small actions along the way that creates the opportunity for us to win. So this is where you have to take your time. So yes, redefine values for yourself. What it is that you value? What are the traditions that you celebrate and hold dear to yourself? Because sometimes we can value things that really don't belong belong to us in the sense that say if we were raised in a household that put a lot of emphasis on basically having material things and we've lived our lives based we've lived our lives and dedicated our dedicated all of our energy and everything to having a nice home a nice car but yes still we feel unfulfilled from these things that's a clear sign that those weren't your values and beliefs to begin with so this is where you are being called to create new values and new beliefs and set better goals when it comes to your financial situation this is where you might find that minimalism is very helpful for you when it comes to your overall situation minimalism in the sense that take a good look at your closet and all the things that you have and ask yourself like how often do i wear everything here or when it comes to all the things that you own like are you utilizing all the things that you own and do you find yourself con to continuing to add more and more things to what it is that you already have so this is where you take a look at your life and see what changes you can make and what values you hold that encourage these changes in the first place and just from being aware of you know what you have around you and what you're utilizing and what you're not and how you're adding more of what you don't need to your life if that's something that you're doing the north node moving into this area of your life along with uranus already being there shaking stuff up you know creating causing you to be honest about your financial situation this is where you will find yourself like i said redefining your goals redefining your views when it comes to money redefining your redefining your definition when it comes to stability traditions and values and basically in the process of doing all this the goal is stability and from you know the stability and comfort this will give you the motivation to move towards your destiny and whatever your destiny is like in order for us to feel comfortable and safe to move towards our destiny like all of our needs has to be all of our needs need to be met so basically just you focusing your attention here and redefining these things for yourselves will help you to be able to take care of your needs so you can feel safe, comfortable, and stable. The word is stability. So you can move towards whatever it is that you want. Because say, for example, it is your goal to not have to work so hard at your nine to five or be an actress or do something that allows you to creatively express yourself. But because money is short or money is inconsistent or there's some kind of fear or something around money because you value you know, certain things that don't value you. So you're wasting your money and resources into these things. It's like you're not able to put yourself out there and do the thing that speaks to your heart because you're so busy having to work a nine to five to keep up with things that don't truly value you. So Aries, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Taurus. So for you, a lot is happening in your sign. And this is causing you to completely reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself as far as who you identify as and how you are showing up. So with the North Node in your sign, this is saying that in in this within this year between january 18th through july 
2023, basically the focus needs to be on you. You need to focus on yourself more. You need to focus on putting yourself out there more, just basically focusing on yourself. So this is where you stop focusing on the needs of everybody else and bring your attention back to you. Have you been true to yourself when it comes to your goals that you have, when it comes to what you are working towards on a daily on a daily basis, when it comes to the things that you value? Because as you've heard me say in other videos, you know, Taurus is the energy that tends to, you know, carry on traditions and and have values that truly aren't your own, values that were pretty much programmed and inherited from those who raised you. Even when these values and traditions have proven to be useless and worthless, you still just hold on to them. But with everything happening in your sign, like things are shifting and changing and your world is transforming because with you being the sign that is fixed and is hardly easily, you know, moved with Uranus in your sign and the North Node moving there, like basically you are so frustrated when it comes to a lot of things in your life where you're starting to recognize patterns that you have and how these patterns don't work for you. You're starting to recognize how you're showing up and how you need to put yourself out there more. So from this transit, and along with Uranus in your sign, you're going to find yourself having a lot more courage and motivation that you normally would have. This is where you're going to find that energy, the electricity to be innovative and reinvent yourself when it comes to, you know, being the individual that you are. And, you know, with, with the conjunction happening, and we'll start to feel the conjunction of Uranus and the North Node from May all the way until all the way until January 2023 into the next year. And the conjunction is happening around the time when the sun is in your sign. So this is when you will be feeling more alive than ever. This is where when you'll feel motivation more than ever. And I encourage you to step into that energy and allow the waves to just take you where it is that you want to go. Have a clear intentions first. But at the same time, I also want you to focus on the fact that all of this energy can create impulsiveness and cause us to kind of gamble with our lives and uh, make decisions without fully thinking them through. I know you guys are pretty fixed and stable and take your time when it comes to looking into things, but trust me, this energy is going to move you like nobody's business. So please be aware and conscious of certain things that you decide to do around this time in the sense that like, say for those of you with Taurus rising, the rising ascendant energy talks about our parents. So this is where you might get frustrated with dieting and exercise and decide to invest your money into plastic surgery or things like that. And this is, and I'm just giving an example. This is where someone could find themselves like, you know, not taking the time and doing their due diligence to see if like this is something that's even necessary or even seeing if they've picked the right doctor to do what it is that needs to get done. So this is, again, why whenever this, you know, the conjunction, whenever the North Node and Uranus is in close proximity to each other, and this is happening around the time, like basically they're gonna be close together at the time of your um, birthday, around your birthday, even though the exact conjunction doesn't happen until July 30th, 2022. But just, feeling that energy, you will feel a pep in your step. You will feel like movement up underneath you. You will feel a fire underneath you to take action and make things happen. And I think this is great because this is where you'll get the motivation to finally work out if you've been feeling lazy about working out. You're gonna feel so much energy that you don't even know what to do with. So channel this energy in a positive way so that you can get the most of this energy. I am super excited for you. Um, and everything that can come from all of what's happening in your sign because it is truly revolutionary and transformative, transformative and innovative for you as an individual. So when all of this is said and done, like by the end of the year 2022, you will feel like a new person. 
you will look different. And also too around the transit, like you might think to do a makeover, cut your hair, color your hair, but you will do some things to your appearance that will cause you to look a bit innovative and different in a way that people might not be able to fully, um, fully, not not be able to fully recognize you so you know pay attention to the conjunction though and the energy that it'll give you and just make sure you utilize this energy in the right way so that you can make the most of it taurus if you're still here with me i would love to hear about it please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you Hi, Gemini. So the North Node transit is happening in the area of your life that talks about your subconscious mind, talks about your ability to heal yourself through affirmations, through meditation, through introspection and quietness. It talks about creativity. It talks about expressing yourself in a creative way and the importance of having time alone and being that channel that expresses yourself that way. It also talks about mediumship and spirituality. So with Uranus already in this area of your life, you will be feeling a bit of chaos and impulsiveness when it comes to your subconscious mind, when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to healing yourself on a subconscious level, you'll feel a bit of innovation. All of a sudden, you'll start to feel like the need to start like paying attention to you know, things that you normally would be afraid of, things that you normally wouldn't embrace. So this is where you'll tap more into spirituality, things that are, you know, have more to do with like say mediumship, things that has to do with subconscious healing. And with the North Node moving here, this is the direction that you need to move into in order to create more balance in your life because what is normal to you or what is comfortable is dealing with approaching life in a way that is tangible, approaching life in a way that is practical, approaching life in a way that is comfortable and feels safe. Where when it comes to the subconscious realm and the realm that deals with you know things that we cannot see, it could be a bit scary for us because again, it's hard for us to get validation when there is nothing tangible to validate us. But your validation will come from you getting deeper into these practices. These practices meaning affirmation, the importance of positive thinking, the importance of recognizing within your life how your subconscious mind is creating your reality. So, you know, we can take a good look around all aspects of our lives and look at the outcome that we've ha we have. And if the outcome that we have in our lives doesn't match with the goals that we have and what we think we're trying to create and working towards, that's a perfect example of how your subconscious mind is actually creating your reality and you're totally unaware of it. An example that I like to give is if you find yourself planting orange seeds, but you're left with mango trees, obviously there's a big disconnect when it comes to what you're creating on a subconscious level and what you are consciously creating. You know, so with the North Node moving into the 12th house and your focus being more on your subconscious level, again, you can recognize what your subconscious is doing based on what's happening around you, what you're creating, the things that you're creating that feels like that you're like, how did I get here? How is this happening? Why did this happen? Those are a reflection of the subconscious creation. Also to the 12th house talks about isolation. This is you moving more into introspection. If you're the kind of Gemini that <clears throat> is a socialite, you might find yourself not taking invitations. Like people are inviting you to different events and things and you just feel the need to just be alone and as you're alone, you'll find yourself going down the rabbit hole like Alice. You'll find yourself digging deeper and decoding things within this matrix and making sense of these things for yourself. And it might be a little bit challenging at times because, again, you're used to that tangible, practical thing to confirm or affirm things and it might not be there. And this is where you just have to trust yourself. And around um, May to January 2023 is when Uranus and the North Node will be the closest. 
And from the conjunction and them being so close, the exact conjunction happens July 31st, 2022. And But with them just being in close proximity to each other, this is where you will feel a sense of like electricity and need to really dive deeper when it comes to certain things having to do with you creatively expressing yourself or you isolating yourself or escapism. You know, you might find yourself, you know, needing to escape reality. So this is where you can find yourself indulging more than normal. And the indulgence will come from the fear of facing whatever it is that your subconscious mind is trying to bring to your attention. So because you don't want to see or hear or feel what it is that you cannot understand, this is where escapism behavior will come in. But the good things that can come from the conjunction is you being more creative and expressing yourself creatively. So say, for example, if you're someone who always wanted to do something on the creative side, this is where you can find yourself having the motivation and just the knowing where you're channeling knowledge, channeling certain information and taking action when it comes to creating things or even deciding to heal others based on the things that you've learned or start writing or sharing or, you know, on some kind of social media platform, whether you're writing, speaking, however, expressing yourself in a way that will inspire others based on the experiences that you'll have. And for everyone, of course, you won't be sharing publicly. For some of you, you might just be sharing with, you know, a family member that you're close to or someone that you speak to on a regular basis. But pay attention to your conversations as we move into the middle of January all the way until the end of this year. A lot of focus is going to be on your subconscious mind, on things that cannot be explained, on things that we experience when we are in isolation. What's coming to mind is Bible stories of how Jesus always or how God always speaks to people when they are by themselves. So basically, this is where you're going to find your you and God moments where you're going to just be getting these downloads and just having this knowing that you can't always explain. But this is going to bring balance into your life because this can help your physical reality. Physical reality in the sense that this is where your dreams or just you knowing or having certain knowings can help you to know who you're dealing with and what decisions to make and when to make them. This is where you find yourself like tapping into a new level of superpower. Because like for me personally, once I embrace being an empath and recognize that I can pick up on people's energy and learn to cipher the difference between my energy and someone else, it was like basically like my life was transformed and my life was transformed for the simple fact that like when I was creating my salon and interacting with different people, even though I didn't know the terminology and was completely ignorant to what it is that they were doing, I was able to read and pick up on their energy and know whether I was dealing with a good person or not know whether I was getting a good deal or not just from filling them out. And the more you move into this energy and, and, embrace it this is how it can positively affect your overall life so yeah you can gain a lot of balance from your overall life just by implementing more of what is hidden thing your creative expression you know and from creative expression is where we see resourcefulness we're solving problems from higher realms and again, your subconscious mind and coming on one accord with your subconscious mind in the sense that, you know, when we're disconnected, it's a matter of sleepwalking through life. We're doing things and we're like, when did I do that? Why did I do that? Where now you can recognize, okay, this is the way I've been thinking and it makes sense because you know, maybe someone would call you out and tell you that you do things a certain way or you think a certain way and you'll say no, no, no. But then when you look around at your life, it reflects that in the sense like when we have a poverty mentality, our life represent reflects poverty, reflects us never having enough and us never having enough comes from thoughts that we have that talks about us not having enough. So anyways, the subconscious mind is a big part, you know, a big influence here, big attention needs to go there. Transformation is happening here. And once everything, once you become aware 
of what's playing in the background and transformation and innovation happens there because it's going to happen no matter what you'll start to see how you know you'll start to see more of what you actually want and realize that in the past your thoughts and the unconscious thoughts that was playing in your mind or the beliefs that you hold weren't in alignment with what it is that you were trying to manifest. And that's where the disconnection came in. Gemini, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Cancer. So when it comes to the North Node transit, this is happening in the area of your life that talks about your friendships and you connecting with others. It talks about collaboration and it talks about service to humanity. So with Uranus already in this area of your life, you're already experiencing major shakeups when it comes to your friendships, the groups that you associate yourself with. And when it comes to these groups that you associate yourself with, like service is important. Service in the sense that is there reciprocity in these groups? Is there an equal of give and take? Because a lot of the times we can associate ourselves with groups and in the groups we show up and we be the mother and we give, we give, we give, we give, and we do too much. And we don't allow others to give back to us. And then sometimes we could be so private and secretive that we don't even really express our needs and desires within these groups. Where if we were transparent and expressive when it comes to what it is that we need and what it is that we are trying to achieve like amazing networking can happen and this is where we see a nice balance of give and take reciprocity and with the north node going here in order to create balance in your life and further move towards destiny you know you're going to have to depend on the groups that you associate yourself with and again like i say reciprocity a nice balance of give and take and from these groups that you associate yourself with, like innovation is going to be something that is a big part of this group because with Uranus being here, you already want to support, surround yourself with people who are unique, people who are different, people who are visionary, you know, people who are innovative because that is the energy that is moving you right now. And this is the energy that is needed in order for you to move towards your destiny in your place in the world so you know when it comes to these groups how are you guys getting together and serving humanity because when it comes to our businesses our business goals and us trying to achieve wealth for ourselves when we make it our goal to help others achieve that wealth however we do that basically we become wealthy in the process an example of that might be say for example the teacher who wants to teach everyone financial freedom in the process of this teacher teaching everyone financial freedom this teacher could be charging a very small price and just from them dedicating themselves and teaching this they will become very wealthy because in the process of them solving a problem finances are coming in and they're not even focused on the finances they're focused on the fact that they want to share all that they know. So when it comes to the groups that you're associating yourself with, it's important to associate yourself with groups that have a higher, that have a higher or a strong focus on hum serving humanity to a certain extent. Um, I'm not saying that these groups have to be charity groups that are focused on just doing that. But regardless of what these groups are about, they should be nourishing the collective some way or another and nourishment could look like us having conversations and coming up with great ideas as to how we can inspire and uplift each other just as how it looks like us coming together bringing our resources together and feeding the poor it can look totally different depending on the group that you're associating yourself with but yeah when it comes to your friendships and groups you know collaboration is a big thing that you know is beneficial for you when it comes to creating more stability and balance in your life with the north node in taurus also to um during the on january 30 31st um 2022 the north node will have an, an exact conjunction with uranus but even before the exact conjunction in may 2020 
all the way to the end of the year, January 2023, you might feel this sense of urgency and impulsiveness when it comes to joining groups or making connections and collaborating and things like that. So slow down, take your time. And I say slow down and take your time in the sense that it's funny with me saying this to a cancer because you guys are normally often very indirect when it comes to doing whatever it is that you're doing, where it's hard for anyone observing you to know what direction it is that you're going and what your goals and intentions are. And you tend to take, you move pretty fast, but indirectly. So this is where you can move pretty fast into things having to do with groups when it's good for you to take your time and just like make sure you have a clear goal and not be impulsive because Whenever Uranus and the North Node is close together, that Uranian energy is going to speed things up. And this is where you're going to feel like you needed to do this thing since yesterday. And this is where you can find yourself gambling and taking action without not fully thinking things through or not even checking in with yourself to see if this action is one that is true to yourself. And a lot of the times we do this out of greed, you know, or out of fear of lack. So this is where you have to take your time and relax and check in with yourself. But the good things that can happen from the conjunction or whenever the North Node and Uranus get in close proximity with each other is just innovation and motivation when it comes to the groups that you associate yourself with. This is when you can feel inspiration and motivation, where it's like a group that you normally will check in with and spend time with. You can, you know, check in and spend time and you guys are having a conversation. And within that time, you know, within the time of the close proximity, you, you're you just more inspired. It's like you're so much more inspired and you're able to get guidance from the group that before you didn't see was po you didn't see was possible. A lot of innovation and electricity and originality can come from interactions with groups and friendships and collaborations and connections, but pace yourself and make sure that you're not in running into something at full speed. And again, with you tending to move in a way that is always indirect, make sure that other people are on the same page as you because you might have intentions for one thing, but because of your indirect moves into that thing, the other person or the group might not understand where you're coming from or what your intentions are. So be clear or be aware of the fact that the way how you go about things sometimes can cause people to misunderstand your intentions or misunderstand what's actually going on. So this is where clear communication is extremely important. And also on your part, like I said, pace yourself and allow these energies to guide you. But definitely opportunities can come from you moving in towards more collaboration. How can you service humanity when it comes to promoting your brand or your business or whatever it is that you're trying to do? Or And, and, and I say service humanity and friendship when cancer is a mothering energy, nurturing energy, one that is always serving others. So I so the focus should be more on friendships and collaboration because friendships and collaboration is going to open up doors for you. This is how you're going to meet people who have what it is that you need and you have what it is that they need through your friendships, through these groups and through these collaborations. Cancer, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Leo. So when it comes to the North Node transiting the sign of Taurus, this is highlighting the area of your life that talks about your legacy. It talks about your goals and it talks about putting yourself out there on the world stage. It talks about being brave. You know, it's OK to be afraid and uncomfortable when it comes to whatever it is that you got to do. But this is where you got to put your Nikes on and just do it. Make it happen. There are some things that you've been working on or some things that you've been considering. And, you know, start making goals if you haven't already, because action is going to be required on your part. And I know I've mentioned in the Venus retrograde video when it comes to like diet and exercise is what's going to give you the energy that you need. I hope you guys are working on that because a lot of energy is going to be required on your part where these gates are opening up and calling you to 
put yourself out there more, you know, calling yourself to be more vocal when it comes to what it is that you are good at. Like a lot of the times, you know, I find that most of us have a hard time when it comes to selling ourselves and you are being encouraged to sell yourself, sell yourself in the sense that in the conversation, if someone says, what do you do? Like, don't play yourself down, even though I know it's not Leo energy to play themselves down. But when it, when someone say, what do you do? Like, say, for example, you might have a hobby, but you sleep on your hobby because you might not take it that seriously because you might have other placements in your chart that forces you to be so practical. And from that practicality of, or whatever, it's like you might think it doesn't make sense or it's not a good idea or whatnot. So when someone asks you about it, instead of you telling them how amazing you are and how much you love this thing and how well it's been working for you, like you kind of play it down or whatever. No, you are being called to sell yourself. And with the self node being um, in, in the area of your life that has to do with home, family, security, stability. Basically, you're kind of comfortable or have been comfortable hiding yourself away in the security of your home in your safe place. You're being called to come out of your safe place and be uncomfortable and get comfortable with being uncomfortable until you are no longer uncomfortable. And when the, so the North Node conjuncts Uranus on January 31st, 2022. And at the time of the conjunction is when you will feel electricity when it comes to you being out there on the world stage. You're going to feel the energy to just move and take action. So leading, it'll be a slow start. But once this momentum starts moving, you will move with lightning when it comes to putting yourself out there, when it comes to whatever it is that you need to put yourself out there with. But already leading up to the conjunction, so in May, so May 2022, all the way to January 2023, the North Node and Uranus will be in close proximity of each other. So with them just being around each other, you are going to feel that energy. And that energy can cause impulsiveness. It could cause recklessness. It can cause you to gamble with things like taking action without fully thinking things through. And this is where we can embarrass ourselves in situations because we didn't fully think stop and think things through. We're just riding this wave and we're on this high because you will feel this sense of high starting from May all the way to January 2023. You will feel this high and this high is meant to be innovative and electrifying, but it can create a lot of originality when it comes to you putting yourself out there because the Uranian, the Uranian energy already um, in the area of your house, in the area of your life that has to do with standing on the world stage, you're already feeling yourself, feeling the need to be original, feeling the need to just be you and not sugarcoat yourself or fix yourself up in a way that's digestible for anyone's palate. You are just raw and putting yourself out there. But at the same time, like I mentioned, with this electrifying original energy, innovation. Innovation is from you basically rebelling against the old ways of doing things, the old ways of putting yourself out there, looking, rebelling when it comes to goals that you once had to please other people and now creating new goals based on what is true to you and what you've realized that your talents and your gifts are. So with all of this energy, you know, that you will be feeling when it comes to your legacy, your goals and putting yourself out there, like jump on this wave and ride it. And at the same time, like stability is going to come from you putting yourself out there and create more balance. Because from you putting yourself out there, like say for some for someone who is putting themselves out there in their workplace, this is where you might get more recognition, where you'll get more pay because finally others see that, wow, I didn't know that you were doing all this work. I didn't know you were pulling all this weight because before you were probably hiding in the dark, playing safe or whatever, where you're being recognized. And if, you know, for those of you who are putting yourself out there, starting your own business or something with media, you will be recognized and you will get the recognition. It just comes down to, pre to prepared. Like how prepared are you? Prepared in the sense that 
you know, put more time into working on this thing that you're passionate about so that when you get your, say, what would my, what might be five minutes of fame for some people, it will turn into a lifetime because of the work that you've been putting in, because of your preparation, you know, so prepare yourself when it comes to what is it that you what it when it comes to your goals what are your goals and how have you been preparing yourself and working towards your goals like say for example you're a, a songwriter that's your goal or a musician like a way to prepare with this energy is to spend your time creating more and more music getting better learning everything that it is that you can learn and putting your stuff out there you know putting your stuff out there and make sure it's stuff that represents you and your truth and i promise you like within that energy you're going to notice a difference you're going to notice some kind of action when it comes to you know you being out there and putting yourself out there you're gonna notice more people observing you and taking notice of what it is that you are doing and the best thing you can do for yourself is to be prepared so that again when the opportunity comes your life could be transformed because of the preparation that met that opportunity and to some people it'll look like luck but it wasn't luck they just weren't there when you were working hard and preparing for whatever it is that you know that you're working on so goals goals is the thing for you leo if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a purple heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi Virgo. So when it comes to the North Node transiting Taurus, this is happening for you in a part of your chart that has to do with travel, that has to do with spirituality, higher learning, philosophy and just getting out of your comfort zone. You might find yourself lately thinking about traveling. You know, traveling might be something that is on your mind because with the North Node in Taurus and this highlighting that area of your life, you know, we don't only travel through physical travel, we also travel through our minds and learning new things. But I think you are being called to actually travel. And the, and the area of your life that this is highlighting tends to do deal with overseas traveling but i personally feel like it doesn't have to be overseas traveling like for me this could just be you coming like spending more time in places that are unfamiliar to you so this is you going doing a road trip one state over or a few states over this could be you doing road trips or getting on the plane but you stay within your country you know or you visit different parts of your state but from you traveling and from traveling, you're going to be opening up parts of your mind. You're going to be expanding yourself based on the knowledge that you gain from the experiences and the people that you will be meet, meeting in the process. And this is going to transform you on a spiritual level. For me, what I'm getting is like activation. It's like when we go here and we go there, we might not realize based on the astrological makeup of where a place is in our own and them coming together and maybe a conjunction happening or a sextile or whatever some positive aspects happening where when we go where we go we, we it was necessary for us to go to these places in order to for us to activate different things within our lives like 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 check out at, um i forgot i can't think of the exact term for it but it's like travel astrology travel where it's like you compare your placement to different places in the world because everywhere is like basically like how we have our natal chart and on the natal wheel you might have um your no north node here your south node there I think it's like astro travel on astro.com but anyways like different place are are act, are activating for us based on our natal chart and our placements so a lot of that could be happening for you and the and with taurus with taurus um with the north node being in taurus and again this activating that part of your chart uranus is also activating this part of your chart so this is where you might find yourself re like looking at 
um, teaching or going back to school in a different way, looking at it in a way that is totally different from the way you used to look at it, where instead of going back to college, you might decide you're going to teach yourself and take a different approach, or you might decide you're going to go back to college, but you're going back for a subject that is a little bit different from what you would normally go towards. Like it fits what you would go towards, but it's a little bit different because a lot of innovation is happening in this area of your life that has to do with higher education, long distance travel and things like that. So on January 31st, 2022 is when the exact conjunction happens between the North Node and Uranus. But even leading up to it, like say from May 2022 all the way to um, January, January 2023, we will be able to feel the effects of the conjunction. And this is where we will feel a boost of energy, electricity, the need to be original, the need for innovation. And around the times of the conjunction, because of the close proximity, we want to be careful and make sure that we are not being impulsive when it comes to our actions. We're not being impulsive when it comes to decisions. So this is where you got to be careful that, you know, being impulsive and jumping into something, you know, not thinking it through or jumping, deciding to take a trip without fully thinking it through. And then the plus side of this is that a lot of opportunities can come from us, you know, being original and taking advantage of this energy because this energy is teaching energy. So say, for example, if you are someone who teaches and you could be teaching on a very small a small platform meaning you're in a classroom or you're on a you're teaching on social media or whatever this is where you will find a lot of energy a lot of originality a lot of innovation to put yourself out there and do things in a way that you normally like wouldn't do wouldn't do having energy to put yourself out there where normally you would procrastinate so this energy is exciting and electrifying in a way that we really want to ride and make the most of but again like i said it's important for us to not be impulsive and gamble and just like you know in a rush when it just for the sake of being in a rush in the sense that say for example you're traveling and you find out that okay your flight is delayed or whatever but you can wait for like an hour or two or, or spend the night at the airport or drop like three four times what the flight is worth and get there today like maybe you should just wait maybe there's an opportunity that will come from waiting you know so just pay attention to the need to like be impulsive and reckless when it comes to traveling in the sense that a lot of drama could be going on in the world but yet still you don't care and you go somewhere anyways and now you're stuck there you know which will cause you to look at things a little bit different because of the impulsiveness but it's like you didn't even have to end up in that situation anyways to learn that lesson you could have just thought things through and say you know okay maybe it's not a good time to go there because if i go there this could happen that can happen so maybe i should hold off so the overall thing is to just be conscious when it comes to your actions a lot of opportunity will be prevalent because of the electricity and the originality and from traveling away from your community away from the places that are familiar you will be inspired. You will be inspired. You will gain new knowledge and be able to see things in a totally different way, one that you weren't able to see them in before. And from that, it will transform your life because again, it's transforming your world and making you more innovative when it comes to what it is that you know, how you see the world, because this is going to cause you to see the world with new eyes. And from seeing the world with new eyes, you take action in a way that is different. And move towards your destiny move towards your destiny more because what's familiar to you is your community and places that are familiar and safe but you're being called to step out of those places that are familiar and safe and move more into places that are different places that are unique because again activation is what will come from it if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you.
Hi Libra, so when it comes to the North Node in Taurus, this is activating or highlighting the part of your life that talks about occultism, things that are in, in secret, things that are hidden, things that are private. The area of your life that talks about passive income, multiple streams of income, the parts of your life that talks about divination and even marriage. So with the North Node moving into this area of your or highlighting this area of your life, moving into this area of your chart, it could talk about what is familiar for you and what feels safe for you. And what is familiar and feels safe for you is practicality when it comes to your financial situation. Practicality might mean you being told that, okay, this is the kind of job you need to get. This is what it is that you need to do in order to make money. And you've been like a hamster on the wheel doing these things, but the reward and what you are getting from these things are far less than what it is that you deserve and what you might look around and notice that other people are getting. And now you're moving into a part of, you know, now the North Node is bringing you to look into a part of looking, look at things in a way that you've never looked at things before. So yeah, before you're used to looking at things in a practical way, where now you're looking at a, things in a way that is more strategic, looking at things in a way that isn't traditional. Traditional in the sense like, say for example, I remember when I was younger, instead of getting a car like everybody else, I went to the auction and got my car. Yes, there's risk when it comes to going to the auction, but I went to the auction with a mechanic who knew what they were looking for and was able to buy my car at a wholesale price. So to me, that's an example of like cutting corners and creating opportunities for yourself. It's like someone who is investing where someone might invest in stocks and wait on dividends. And from the dividends, they might make, say, $1,000 a year. I'm just throwing a random number out there where someone else might find other means of investment and from their means of investment, they make that thousand dollars in three months. Like these are the kind of things that you're going to be looking at and bringing your attention to. And this is how the North Node is going to help you to get closer to your destiny by creating stability for yourself, by not having to work so hard when it comes to financial situations and also divination and occultism. Occultism meaning anything that is secret and behind closed doors. And you might be called to either be more private and secretive when it comes to whatever it is that you're doing. This is where we don't share our goals and plans with everyone. It's that hustler move in silence vibe where we hold our head down and do what needs to be done and then share with others later. Or it could be a situation where you're a little bit more transparent because maybe before you were too secretive and because you were too secretive, like you weren't able to get all the help that is available to you because people didn't know you need help. Also too, with this having to do with marriage, like you might find yourself thinking more about marriage and how marriage could be beneficial to you. You know, how the a, a partnership of two can be more helpful, you know, when it comes to financial situations, two coming together opposed to one. Those are some things that might be on your mind that you might be focusing on. So with the so the North Node will conjunct um Uranus on July 31st, 2022. And at the conjunction, the conjunction will cause this need for urgency and need to rush. But even before the exact conjunction, just the just with just with Uranus being close in close proximity to the North Node, we will feel these energies and we will feel them within May 2022 of this year all the way until January 2023. And this is when we might feel the need to jump into things without fully thinking them through. So say before you might be like, oh, I don't know if I want to get married, maybe, maybe not. All of a sudden you feel this urgency like it should have happened yesterday. Or it could have, it could be with investments where it's like, uh, I don't know if I'm ready to invest. And all of a sudden you find yourself gambling and throwing your money at things that you're speculating about that you haven't done the due diligence to properly research this thing to see if it's a good investment or not. So just pay attention and make sure that you're not rushing into things without thinking things through. And 
divination, divination and occultism. I feel like implementing more of this into your life will definitely create more balance in your life, create more balance in the sense that you like allowing your intuition to speak to you, allowing omens, allowing the universe to communicate to you through different mediums and through different mediums could be like, you know, watching tarot card, pick a card reading videos, or just checking in with yourself. You know, for some people, you might feel like you might feel called to create an altar in your home. And from your altar, you start simple and honor the ancestors that you had a good, that you know of, that you had a good relationship with. And eventually, connect with more ancestors, with your spirit guides, with your guidance, with your angels. Like either way, all of this will help with more stability and guide you towards your destiny. Stability because you will get guidance to know when to move and when not to move. And uh, back to the whole um, conjunction or with Uranus being in close proximity of um, the North Node, when it comes to your financial situation, this is where you could feel like basically this is where you can get great like great ideas. This is where innovation, you can find innovative ways to transform your financial situation. And that goes back to the altar and you tapping into, you know, your your higher self, your guides and the guidance that's always there. And it's just a matter of you being aware of it and acknowledging it or not. So, you know, with that energy helping you to look at things through new eyes this is where we're able to our guard comes down because with our practical mind it's hard for us to perceive things that isn't a part of the, our robotic way of thinking so with this innovative energy and us thinking things different and seeing things different this is where guidance is able to come in and we are able to start to look at things in a totally different way. This is where innovation comes in, an original way of thinking comes in. And an original way of thinking is very necessary when it comes to you looking at inv ways of investing and passive income and things like that, because it is through different ways of investing, saving passive income and doing things differently with loan and debt is where you can create the freedom that you really need. I know that you guys um with uh can with with Venus transiting Capricorn and also Pluto like you guys have been looking a lot when it comes to home and buying home you might find yourself, you know, find investment opportunities to buy homes pretty soon, you know, and like I mentioned from May 2022nd to January 2023rd, the conjunction will create this urgency. So this is where you can find yourself jumping into situations like that you don't need to jump into, that you need to take more time and wait things out and look things through. So again, like, you know, pay attention to what it is that you're doing and just know that, um, what is the word? Travel the path of least resistance in the sense that if you keep trying to do something and it's not working out in your favor, that possibly could be the universe trying to protect you because that is just not what it is that you need to be doing right now. So just be true to yourself, true to yourself in the sense that are you going after something because you think that's what you need in order to elevate you to some, you know, status, social status? Or is that what it that what you really, really want? And in the process of going after this thing, like, are you like, can you afford it? Are you like emptying your savings and putting yourself in a challenging situation just to have this thing to say you have it? Just pay attention to what you're doing and how things make you feel. Because yes, the North Node is moving into that area of your life that has to do with loans and debt and things like that. And this could be you taking out new loans, but, and it could be you taking out new loans, but you do your d due diligence to make sure this is a good idea for you. This works for you. And you're not just impulsively jumping into something because again, with Uranus already being there, shaking things up, like when it comes to, you know, your financial situation, your ability to save loans and marriage and things like that. 
you know, you're, you're starting to have a totally different view when it comes to these things, one that you didn't have before. So the North Node moving in with that, like when it's all said and done, I know that you guys will be in a better financial situation than you're already in now because you're going to be looking at things in a way that is very like not unique. And I don't want to keep saying innovative, but in a way that is just different, that fits you, but in a way where you've made done your research and you're moving into something because it's what's right for you and not because you know, you're trying to, you're trying to fit into any, any social, any social norms or groups or things like that. So Libra, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Scorpio. So with the North Node transiting the sign of Taurus, like, first of all, this is happening for you in the area of your life that has to do with relationships. And also Taurus is the opposing sign to yours. So all of this is opposing your sun or your ascendant, opposing your identity, who you identify as or how you are showing up. But with the North Node in um, with the North Node transiting the sign of Taurus and this um, highlighting the area of your life that has to do with relationships, you are called to focus more of your attention on relationships and collaboration once the North Node enters into the sign of Taurus. The way how you will create balance in your life and open up doors for yourself when it comes to opportunities is through your relationships, whether it is personal relationship, business relationships, or collaboration. Personal relationships can help you to make connections, connections that you wouldn't make normally on your own. It could help you to pretty much network and open doors that you probably wouldn't be able to open up on your own because it is through these connections where you're being introduced to other people. And what's comfortable for you is you being solo, dolo, doing things all by yourself, doing things in secret and kind of like being the lone wolf where now you're being called to be that wolf that connects with a pack and not necessarily a pack, but another, but other people. So this means you're putting yourself out there. You are going to things when you are invited. You're be allowing yourself to be uncomfortable in moments where you feel uncomfortable thinking about the idea of meeting and connecting with new people. This is where you change your perspective and your views when it comes to people and challenge yourself to like associate with people who you wouldn't normally associate with. And of course, not the kind of people that will cause you to betray yourself in the process of in entertaining them. But it could be sometimes that, say, for example, certain people could come off a way that we might think is superficial or phony because they're too friendly and they act like everybody is their friend. Like we can observe a person like that and say, okay, you know, I don't really trust this person because of the way how they operate because they're not being genuine. But at the same time, we still can be professional and conversate with that person on things that we might have a common interest in. Like say, for example, this person is a coworker and what you have in common is your career. And, you know, you focus on the career path, on career and talk about that with them and build a relationship on y'all interests that y'all have with that thing. And when it comes to anything else, like you, you guys just, you know, if we're not talking about this, we're not talking about anything else. So it's the friends that get together to watch football. And once football is over, they go their separate ways. You know, they're not talking about politics. They're not talking about spirituality. They're not talking about religion. So to me, it's a matter of creating constituent relationships, ones where you're connecting with people based on that common goal or common interest that you have and not focus so much on making a connection with a person matching all aspects of your life. Also too, with the North Node transiting Taurus and highlighting um, the your relationship sector, 
for those of you who have your own business or 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 trying to put yourself out there collaboration is the way to go in order to provide more stability for yourself and to take you towards the direction of destiny collaboration in the sense that you know you've been putting time in and work in when it comes to something and other people are reaching out to you who've also put time in and work in when it comes to one thing and you guys are able to share resources these kind of opportunities are going to present themselves to you. So whether it is at your career or a job where you're invited to things and meeting new people who can help you to either get a promotion or help you to get a job somewhere you've always wanted to get a job, or if you are someone that has your own business, meeting people who can help you to grow your business because they might need what you have and you need what they have. It could be a situation where someone is a marketer and they want to focus on a specific company. So they decide, hey, let's collaborate. I'll promote your company and then in return, get to say that this is what I've done for you. So a lot of those situations will be presenting themselves to you. So Uranus and the North Node um, has an exact conjunction on July 31st, 2022. But even before the exact conjunction, um, like say May 2022nd, all the way to January 2023rd, because they're in close proximity of each other, we will feel the energy of Uranus. Um, conjuncting the North Node or being close to it. And what that's going to feel like is a sense of urgency and impulsiveness. So even though I encourage you to make connections more, put yourself out there and, you know, look more into relationships and how relationships could be, be very beneficial for you, whether they're professional relationships or personal relationships. But the theme here is on relationships. Um, the conjunction can cause things to kind of be on steroids where there feels a sense of urgency or you might feel rushed by others or you might feel the need to rush something along. Pay attention to that and don't allow that restless energy to cause you to feel the need to rush anything. You want to take things slow and uh, instead allow this energy to help you to be original when it comes to your dealings with people help you to be innovative. Like what can you learn from the situation? What can you do different in these relationships that you didn't do in the past? How could you learn from past situations in order to have healthier relationships and connections with other people? Also too, with the North Node highlighting this area of your life, this is where like balance, balance, um, where balance is important. Balance in the sense, a nice balance of time spent alone and time spent with others. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when it comes to this aspect of my life, it's kind of off balance where I spend most of my time alone and focusing on goals and different things like that and less time, you know, dealing, doing, I, I, I even want to use the word dealing doing like personal relationship connection situations like that. So this is where, you know, you're being encouraged to make more friends, make more connections, because that's where the door will be open for you. That's where opportunities will come through for you. That's how you can create more balance in your life. From these connections is where you will be innovated. It was where you will get guidance and inspiration that will positively affect other areas of your life. So yeah, Scorpio, when it comes to this transit energy and also too, with Uranus also already being in this area of your life, you can find that when it comes to relationship and relating with people, you're starting to relate to people, relate to people in a way that is unique, a way that is just different or people, you might be attracting people in your life that are very original, people who are very unique, people who dance to the beat of their own drum. So start looking around at the different people that you're crossing paths with. And you're going to notice that a lot more Uranian type people are going to be coming in and out of your life. And when it comes to Uranian people, 
coming in and out of your life. The challenge for you when it comes to this might be Scorpio is fixed energy and Scorpio likes to feel safe when it comes to um, connections and relationship. And the way how a lot of people feel safe is through predictability, someone who they can predict their actions, someone who, you know, seems more consistent where with the Uranian energy is one that is unpredictable and inconsistent. And what's coming to mind when I'm speaking about this is in the story, The Alchemist, I remember Fatima when she met Santiago, she's a woman of the desert. And being a woman of the desert, she understands that it is important for her man to go out into the world and pursue his destiny. And she is okay with that. She's not trying to control him or hold him or, you know, like keep him with her. Because if he doesn't go out and pursue his destiny, she will feel guilty feeling that it was her fault. So she wants that for him. So this is where we have to take on that energy, knowing that like whoever it is, the Uranian type people that come into our lives, we can't try to control or put this connection in a box. We have to be more open and flexible with it. And this can trigger a lot of people's um, abandonment issues because this is like here you are connecting with someone who basically you see them today and you might not see them until three days later or next week or so. Or you communicate, but your communicate is not every single day. But every time when you do communicate, it's unique, it's different. It, it helps you to see things in ways that you don't normally see things. It adds value to your life and it inspires you. But at the same time, that consistency might not be there, you know, and you might find that, you know, based on past situations, you felt that you needed to have something routine and predictable but you might have realized that was from your fears and insecurities and need to control. And you've developed a different relationship with yourself where now you're more secure in yourself and realize that your, your space, you need more space, you need more freedom yourself. So this is where you might, and you might embrace relationships and connections like that because while that person is off, exploring, you know, of pursuing their own destiny, you're also busy with your own. So because you're busy with your own the same way they're busy with them, when you guys get together, it just works. It just works. Scorpio, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hey Sag, so when it comes to the North Node transiting the sign of Taurus, this is highlighting your sixth house or the area of your life that talks about how you approach things on a daily basis, how you approach work. It talks about your diet, your health and routine regimen. And of course, our diet and our diet is the foundation because from our diet is where we will get energy and that energy is going to flow into all areas of our lives. And this is where we're able to get things done with motivation and just a positive attitude. So with the North Node moving into this area of your life, this is where you're taking a closer look on how you approach things on a daily basis how you can make the most of your time because the person who owns their time is the person who is able to create the destiny, the life that they want for themselves and the security and stability that is important. And security and stability is something that is very important to you and that is emphasized, emphasized right now with everything that's going on in Capricorn. So with that being said, you know, diet, 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 exercise and time management is is basically your goal mine. This is the area of your life that you need to focus attention on in order to balance out your overall life. So with the North Node transiting Taurus energy, at some point it's going to have a make a conjunction with Uranus that's also in Taurus. And the exact conjunction is happening on January 31st, 2022. But even leading up to the conjunction, like from May 2022 
all the way till January 2023, we will feel the influence of the close proximity between Uranus and the North Node. And what this will feel like is a sense of urgency and impulsiveness when it comes to stuff. This could be, say, for some people, instead of doing proper dieting and exercise in order to resolve something that needs to be done, this could be someone deciding to do surgery instead in order to resolve a health complication or something that they've been dealing with, but one that could possibly, could have possibly be solved through diet and exercise, time management and relaxation. So that's just one aspect of it. Another one could be us being impulsive and rushing into things when it comes to time management and not fully thinking things through and starting off the week with an agenda. Like for me personally, I like to create a to-do list. Like I like to get me a nice planner, a nice affordable planner, and then I map out all the important things that need to get done throughout the week. So every day I look at that that planner and I, you know, execute everything off of it. But at the same time, I don't overwhelm myself with things on it. I make sure to put the things that are the most impactful. So it's like, what do I need to get done today? What is the most impactful thing that I could get done today that could positively influence the whole day or the rest of the week or my life on a whole? And I like to start with the things that I that requires mo more energy and then get to the smaller things. Like it's, I, I learned this from the book called Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. Or yeah, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. And he talks about the importance of um, focusing and getting done the thing that is least desirable to you. Because once that thing is done, you feel this motivation and also feel really good about yourself because you did what it is that you said you were going to do. So for you guys, this could be, you know, exercising more. This could be changing around your grocery list and cutting certain things out of your life. And even though it's not exciting, you do it and you gain the rewards by looking at how much energy you now have and also looking at how the rest of your life benefit. And with the Uranus um, North Node being in close proximity of each other and me mentioning the different extremes when it comes to it, like eating, this is where, you know, some people might develop unhealthy eating patterns because they're trying to get an extreme a get a result and get it now and also the extreme also might be us committing ourselves to different things you know trying to please everyone trying to meet every deadline trying to make sure everybody's needs is met and in the process we are just overwhelming ourselves so when it comes to this energy like the conjunction and them being in close proximity of each other a lot of the opportunities can come from this by us having motivation to work out and to eat healthy and us being innovative and realizing what works for us and what doesn't work for us and realizing that we have everything within us to solve our own problems. And I've already mentioned the negative aspects of this, which is us being super impulsive. But in order to create balance in your life, definitely diet, exercise, better time management, and the way you approach things. How does the way you approach work and your work life and just things on a whole, how does that work for you? You know, how, how does it work for you? And you'll be able to know how it works for you based on the responses that you're getting when it comes to your interactions with other people or just the results that you're getting on a whole. So the proof will be in the put in everything you need is right in front of you. And it's just a matter of observing it and seeing what difference, what changes you need to make within yourself and what your and your approach in order to get a totally different result. Saj, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hey, Capricorn. So the transit the north node transiting the sign of taurus is highlighting the area of your life that has to do with children if you have any romance and self-expression self-expression meaning so for example this is saying that you need to allow yourself to have more fun you need to allow yourself to have more romance and not be so serious 
because a lot have been happening in your sign, especially with the Venus retrograde and you reflecting on your identity, who you are, who you identify as, how are you showing up, your money, you know, your goals, your responsibility for yourself, the ones you love and all of this, where the North Node is now saying, you know, transiting Taurus is highlighting the area of your life that talks about the importance of balance and how you can create more balance for yourself. And you can create more balance for yourself by focusing on you, what brings you joy, what brings you pleasure, you know, more romance into your life. It's like a thought that's coming to mind is a saying, too much work makes a dull guy or dull girl or dull boy or whatever. But like, this is where you need to start creating balance and playing as hard as you work. So if you're a Capricorn that is hardworking and dedicated, this is time for you to start, you know, doing more play. This is this energy is calling you to be more childlike, expressive and resourceful because the, this area of your light of your chart, you know, ties into Leo energy and Leo energy is that kid childlike expressive energy. So this is where you can find yourself stuck in a rut and having a hard time trying to figure out where to go or what to do next. And this energy is resourceful energy because this is where you step out of your practical way of thinking and seeing things and allow creativity, joy, playfulness, and laughter to be a big part of your life. And from that, you will open yourself up to start seeing things that you normally couldn't see because you were looking at them through structured eyes where you're being called to, you know, open up to open up and allow your inner child to come out and play. And with um with Uranus also transiting the sign of Taurus. So this means Uranus is also transiting your fifth house. So this means when it comes to your idea of romance, your idea of expressing yourself, like all of that is transforming. It's going from one extreme to the next. And at some point, Uranus will conjunct the North Node. And when Uranus conjunct the North Node, this is when everything will be electrified. So even before the exact conjunction, which is happening on July 31st, 2022, from May 2022 all the way to January 2023, um, Uranus and the North Node will be in close proximity of each other. So it's just from them being so close to each other, you will feel a sense of urgency to like, you know, enjoy pleasure, romance, fun. This is where, you know, you can, this is where you can like find yourself indulging in promiscuous behavior. Not everybody, but this is where like promiscuous behavior because the fifth house is like pleasure, pleasure in the sense that like, you know, how do you, how do you escape and how do you escape and bring pleasure to yourself? For some people, it could be gambling. For some people, it could be sex. For some people, it could be many things. How do you creatively express yourself and bring pleasure? And with the conjunction and them being in close proximity, this is when we step on the gas and just like, like full force into this thing. And when it comes to us creatively expressing ourselves, because this is the aspect of the fifth house, this is where we can find ourselves being way more expressive and creative and having great ideas and being motivated to do more and putting ourselves out there and sharing more, you know, on the world stage when it comes to, you know, us being childlike and having fun and having a good time. If you have children, this is where you find yourself making more time for your children or thinking about ways how you can, you know, do more with your children and, you know, implementing your children into more and being innovative when it comes to the time spent. But for, you know, those of you who don't, this is where your innovation, you're innovative when it comes to ways you can put yourself out there ways you can expressively, cre creatively express yourself. So say, for example, you might be someone who work in the corporate world. A way of creatively expressing yourself might be coming up with new ways that you can do your work and get your work done in a way that is efficient because resourcefulness is playing a big part in things and resourcefulness is how we solve problems. 
without resourcefulness and with just pure practicality. That's us like robots, you know, keeping a found, doing things the same way over and over again, where when we're trying to do something different, this is where the creativity comes in and creativity is a big part of, you know, innovation and resourcefulness and creative expression. But all of that energy has to do with us rebelling from what is, what is, what is present, what is practical and moving into some doing things different because what we were doing before wasn't working. So this is where you can experience a whole lot of breakthrough where you're able to solve a lot of problems that you couldn't solve before. And this is because you are having more fun. So the goal is to have more fun. But like I mentioned with the conjunction and the close proximity of Uranus and the North Node, you want to be mindful when mindful when it comes to like ways how you like to express yourself and have fun because this is where we can see a lot of overindulgence. Capricorn, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi Aquarius. So when it comes to this transit, this is highlighting the area of your life that talks about home, family, stability, and security. Like for whatever reason, you are being called to bring more attention to your home and your family. So you might find yourself spending more time in the home with family between the 18th of January, 2022 through July 17th, 2023. So yes, your emphasis is on home and family security stability. This is where you are thinking about ways how you can create more stability in your life. This is where you've, you'll find yourself putting less focus on your legacy, your place in the world and more on your home. This is where you might start thinking about like, you know, moving, getting a new place or moving in with your partner or figuring out how you can save more money and create more stability for yourself when it comes to your home situation. Like when it comes to your home situation, for sure, a lot of action is happening there where it's like things are going from one extreme to the next in the sense that if your home situation wasn't stable before, a lot is happening that will break down foundations and new stability and you will have to create stability. So with the North Node being there, this is talking about how you need to focus your attention on that because this is what's going to bring balance into your life. And this is what's going to help you to, you know, have the energy that you need to pursue destiny, whatever destiny is for you. And home is extremely important because I know for me, whenever my living space is untidy, it is like my mind is untidy. It's like my mind is a reflection of my home, of my space. So say, for example, the person who is constantly traveling and is never home because they're traveling and never home, it's almost like, like yes, it's fun and exciting, but there's a part of the mind to a certain extent that doesn't feel s settled because it doesn't have this point of reference or anchored place to call home, where whenever we feel secure in our living space and we are like, okay, this is my home, I feel safe here, like it just does something to the mind and in order for you to have more peace of mind and more balance when it comes to you know your mind and your security your stability your home needs your attention and you know the north node and uranus has a direct conjunction on july 31st 2022 but before the um exact conjunction you will be able to feel the effects of Uranus and the North Node in close proximity of each other from May 2022nd all the way until January 2023. And this is going to feel like a need of impulsiveness when it comes to the home. 
So this could be you jumping and signing a new lease or a new mortgage without thinking things through. So, you know, pay attention to the sense of urgency and rush when it comes to anything having to do with the home. You never want to do anything in rush. It's like we have this saying, haste makes waste. So slow down and take your time when it comes to things having to do with your home and family and think things through and don't just rush into anything because the energy will cause you to want to rush into things. And, you know, you don't want to jump into anything and then end up jumping right back out of it because you you weren't ready. You know, whether this is moving in with someone, signing a lease, take your time and think things through and know that the energy is influencing you. But on the positive note, this energy can help you to really sit down and come up with new ideas when it comes to your home and your living situation that could be more stable, but ways that are innovative. It can help you to solve problems having to do with the home that you didn't, like before you couldn't come up with solutions for these problems. Now you come up with solutions and ways how to make your living situation more comfortable for you. And also to ways that are original or different. So this is where you'll be doing things <clears throat> different in the home and living in the living space, different from how you've done it before. And the goal is stability. And from you feeling more stable and at peace, this is where you have the motivation to go after the things that are important to you, go after destiny. But first, you need to secure home and family. So the emphasis for you guys will definitely be home and family. If you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Pisces. So this Taurus North Node Transit is highlighting the area of your life that has to do with your local community, your relatives, and social media. You are being called to bring more attention to your local community. Like what's going on in your local community? And do you even notice your local community in the sense that when you get up and go to your local grocery store or the things around you, are you always in a sense of daydream and thinking about, you know, basically, do you truly see your community for what it is? Do you see your relatives for what it is? And I know that you can't help but to see these things for what it is lately, because with Uranus already being there, shaking up this area of your life, these things are in your face, even though you don't want to see them. Like they're starting to show up and be in your face or situations having to do with them are starting to be a thing. And with the North Node going there, it's saying that this is where you need to go in order to create more balance in your life. Focus more on your community. Do things more with your community. Spend more time with your relatives, with your siblings. You know, this is what's going to bring more balance into your life. Because what you might be used to is like being away where it's like even though you're there, you're not really there. So now you're being called to be present and to be there. Also to... Um, Uranus conjuncts the North Node and Uranus conjuncts the North Node. Um, there's an exact conjunction on July 30th, 2022 at 18 degrees. But even before, you know, all from May, from May all the way to from May all the way to January 2023, they will be in close proximity to each other. So with them being in close proximity to each other, basically you will feel a sense of impulsiveness, electricity, and just an urgency to do things when it comes to the community, when it comes to relatives, even when it comes to social media. This is where you might all of a sudden feel the need to post more than normal. This is where you'll feel, you know, a motivation to engage more than normal. That's a good thing. And you can ride that wave, but pay attention to that impulsiveness that you'll feel. Make sure that the impulsiveness doesn't cause you to overshare things that you will later on regret. Make sure the impulsiveness doesn't cause you to see your family and community through rose colored glasses to where you give more than you actually have. And then, you know, when it's all said and done, Basically, you're like, what just happened here? Like, I norm, like, just 
pay it, just pace yourself when it comes to your community, your family, your relatives, and social media. Pace yourself, but you are called to implement more of this energy in your life. So, you know, with you being a sign of dream and dreaminess, and I love dream and dreaminess because dream and dreaminess is the blueprint to reality. This is how we create the life that we want. And then practicality is how we secure that foundation. So I'm all for dream and dreaminess, but with your ability to be such a dreamer, you can easily see things when it comes to your community and family in a way that it's like in the moment it might seem great for you but for the long haul it could be detrimental and just not what's best for you not what's good for you not what's going to give you the a, a good outcome for the long haul so just pace yourself when it comes to this energy and you know it's exciting that you know, you'll be spending more time with your siblings, even though it might not be something that you've done more of in the past. But for whatever reason, maybe you're moving home back to your family home or your siblings, you already live at home and you have a sibling moving back home or families moving in together. But for whatever is happening, you're going to find yourself you know, being closer to your family and maybe social media will be your form of escaping because you're spending so much time with family but just know you know uranian energy is making things a bit different so this is where you know things could go from one extreme to the next when it comes to the family and the community and whatnot but overall from this engagement more balance is going to come into your life because overall this is where you're going to learn new things about your community new things about your family, but most of all, new things about yourself. So from them being in your life and holding up a mirror to your face, you're able to see things within yourself. And from you seeing things within yourself, this is where empathy comes in and you're able to see them in a way where not that you allow bad behavior, but at the same time, you're able to realize that their actions aren't personal but more of a reflection of themselves and whatever it is that they are dealing with. And when it comes to community also, your work community is your community. So this is where you might find that there's more responsibility when it comes to your job. And from the responsibility when it comes to your job, you're dealing more with the people at your workplace. And from this, you know, from the dealings and connections, this is where, you know, innovation comes in. Innovation in the sense that you guys are able to come up together, come together or you and create more solutions that is beneficial for the company, beneficial for the group, or the same thing could be happening in the household. Pisces, if you're here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you.